Hello and welcome to Nerdy on Real Dev. And today we're just looking at uh, adding lights to your characters so that either uh, you have one or two scenarios, either the light is just follow, you have a sphere of light surrounding your character, or you've got, uh, say, you're you have a horror game. Uh, and you've got, your player has flashlight. And there's a few ways of doing it. So we're going to start off with the first method, which is a lot simpler, just a sphere of light. And start off by just dragging in a point light. And it can be added to the first uh, person character as a child, just as stationary. But it works a bit better if it's or it makes more sense if it's movable let's just say that um so you can child it and position it exactly how you want it then you hit play and you can see that the light is following the character now uh that's one way you can also go into the first person character and up here where you see add component, if you pull this down, uh, in the cases of things like uh, blueprints, you can see the various components that make up the blueprint. So this is the first person character blueprint. And you can just add the point light uh, through this drop down menu. And you can see that the point light is just automatically centered. Play, it's there, it moves. And yet another way is if you actually go into the blueprint, so either by finding the blueprints or hitting edit blueprint, and then open blueprint editor, you can add the blueprint uh, right here. Save. Compile, and then it is still not here, which means have to actually drag the point light out into the graph, pile, and there should be Oh, there's the point. So I see the point light should be under here. But you can see that it does the same. Moves around. Um, ah, there's point light inherited. And you can edit the uh, point light to give the like right color or effect or um, Brightness, radiation, not radiation, radius. So that's how you would get, whoops. That's how you would get the surrounding light. Go back into our blueprint. And then save that so that's no longer there. Now. For a more flashlight, you that for in that case you would want to bring in a spotlight. So we'll just pull this in. And see, I'm pulling this in, but there's a few ways of going about it. So technically you could do it this way of pulling it in, decreasing. Messing around with the attenuation radius and make this smaller, make this bigger. Oops. And then you want it to be child of the first person and you can see it does move around i didn't quite center it properly but if you notice 
even if I move up and down, the light does not. It only goes side to side. And maybe that is what you want, just for the light, the flashlight to go side to side. But if you want the light to go up and down, you actually have to go into the blueprint. So just like with the point light, gonna go into edit blueprint, open blueprint editor, And then spotlight. All right, and I'm going to zoom in. And there's probably multiple ways of doing this. Um, the way I'm going to do it is going to set world. Helps if you can spell. Oh, okay. See? Completely blank on that. So, have your spotlight. World rotation. And then you want to get a control rotation. And what I'm doing here is I'm right-clicking and then typing what I'm needing. So... This will set the rotation of the spotlight. Control, and then mouse X, and you want the mouse, not the mouse volumes, but the mouse events. So this is input events for mouse buttons and axes. And these are just the values. So you want the events, you want what's going on. And then you Add it here. Oops. Float is not compatible with exact. There we go. I was grabbing the wrong thing. Do not grab the axis value. Grab this little uh, uh, arrow right there. And then you want mouse Y. Again, you want the event. You want what the mouse is doing. Grab by the arrow, not the axis value. And then you save, compile. Don't know why it calls it dirty. And then, yeah. And then if you go in here, you'll notice that the Spotlight is right in there. Extremely bright. Let's just make this more flashlight color. Uh, increase what this is doing uh, is... There we go. Yeah, what this is doing is giving more of a hard edge to most of the light. That's what the inner cone angle to a spotlight does. And we hit play. The ceiling a little too high, but you can see now that now it goes up and down. So there's you go. So that's how you have a point light follow your character around by childing the the point light or by adding it as a component to a blueprint. And how you get a flashlight going. Thank you for watching. This has been another episode of Nerdy on Real Dev. If you liked the video, uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And also donating to my coffee. Thank you very much. Have a good one.